My name is Doug Collins. I'm a mechanical engineer by degree from the Colorado School of Mines. And um, I started AVID in 2012. It's a AVID product development as a mechanical engineering company. We do product design, product development, um, design work, as well as commercial 3D printing. Yeah, I mean, I think we have a very good collaborative um, environment. Um, certainly, I mean, you know, like the NOCOM show is, is great every year because we get to see all those colleagues that we work with throughout the year that we don't necessarily get to see, you know, from machine shops to sheet metal shops to plastic injection molding folks to other design firms. Um, and there's just a lot of, there's a lot of manufacturing in Northern Colorado and a lot of capability. And we're just uh, you know, happy to be part of that. March, um, when when this whole uh, pandemic thing kicked off, at least in Colorado, um, our leadership team at Avid, we we looked at you know what could we do as a company um, to you know help support the effort, and so we we took our engineering team off of their projects for about a week, um, off of the customer projects, and just. Um, um, did a bunch of brainstorming and tried to determine what what could we do to either help design new products or support existing products or you know whatever whatever made sense and so we we were looking at all kinds of different things but um, very quickly um, one of our um, engineers um, Connor Reddington came up with an idea for a design for a face shield frame he came up with a, a concept uh, you know on like a Tuesday, um, created a CAD model of that. We prototyped it overnight. You know, Wednesday we pulled it out of the printer hot and said, oh, "Yeah, okay, we we think we got something here." And so, what's what's special about it is that it it prints in a collapsed state, so that um, we could fit and nest uh, about 300 of them per build, um, which that build cycle is. You know, to print them takes about 17 hours and then total to process them would be about two days, but you can continuously print with HP Multi-Jet Fusion. So we could print with our, um, you know, now four printers, we can print thousands of parts a day. We worked really closely with HP um, to to kind of build a network to be able to print many more than, than we could just at Avid, and then also to get the word out. So we published it on our website, on HP's website, um, and gave the design away to to the world. Yeah, currently uh, around the world, I think there's been over 2 million parts of, of our design printed. Yeah, well, my, my crystal ball, like everybody else, is shattered in, in uh, March. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, I think we were fortunate. Um, I'll, you know, we just put that out there. We're in, in, in an industry that was able to pivot, you know, um, pretty quickly, pretty uh, um, successfully with the pandemic, right? So I, I recognize that we were in a kind of a special um, situation. Um, but at the same time, we did pivot, right? We did. Um, look at what could we do that's different from our normal business because we certainly you know had customers that that were you know running for the hills and and um you know slowing down or canceling purchase orders and that kind of stuff as well so certainly nervous um starts to this pandemic for for us and some of those customers you know are going to slowly come back and some might not ever I mean, you know our team is is everything you know we're we're so proud of them and and you know just and you know the whole COVID thing like coming together to really come up with a solution um, was was key because everybody in the company was part of it.